Ah, do I have to talk to you? Queen's honoured, sir. Will you be entering the Ruby Bazaar offices? Ah, that was what I was missing. Not exactly obvious. Welcome back. We ourselves returned but a moment ago. You wouldn't believe some of the things you can find down at the markets. I spoiled for choice here. I hope my information was of value. We spoke with a number of merchants and captains at the South Piers. Several recognized Gosetsu and confirmed that he had been searching for a vessel to deliver him to Othard. None, however, made mention of Lady Yugiri. Yes, it was the same story for us, and then you'll never believe what happened. So this Gyodo claims to have aided both Gusetsu and Yugiri? How fortuitous. Not the word I would have chosen, Master Alphanil. Stupid what stupid's what I'd call it. How can you agree to his price without making any attempts to haggle? Or even confirm what it is in the first place? Yes, that too was a misstep on their part. But it is not what troubles me most. Gyodo and his brethren are not renowned for their gener generosity of spirit. Rather, they are d disdained as scheming moneylenders, ever eager to turn a profit from others' misfortune. Hmm. Everyone else we questioned stated that Gosetsu was alone. Only Gyodo claims to have met both him and Yugiri. I suppose it is just po possible that Gosetsu made inquiries by himself and only called upon Yugiri once he had found a willing captain. But it is equally possible, if not more likely, that you are being deceived. Do not forget that these are parties present in Kugani with agendas, which may run contrary to your own. Oh, that there are. Not, not these are. The Viceroy was once a spy himself, as I recall. Herself. I should be surprised if she did not have countless agents here in her employ, all eager to prove themselves to their new master. And what better way to do so than deceiving... delivering her the heads of foreign insurgents. Fine, you may be right about him, but if Gyodo's working for the Empire, who is to say he didn't try the same trick on Yugiri and Gosetsu? I mean, if he did, he might know where they are. And if he succeeded, they might be in trouble. Anyway, if he holds up his end of the bargain, we'll have nothing to worry about, will we? But if he tries to betray us, I'll vote we take him prisoner and punch him till he tells us the truth. So, if it's a trap, we'll spring it and deal with the consequences. Ah. I like the way you think. <sighs> Very well. We should prepare for the worst. Tataro will remain here, and I shall follow the three of you at a discreet distance. Once more, I must caution you to avoid physical alterations at all costs. Even should Imperial agents attempt to engage you, the Se Sekisigumi will not hesitate to clap you in irons or cut you down. If anything untoward should happen, you are to return here at once. Is that clear? Oh yes, definitely. Rest assured, I will not be far behind, Alex. While I am no shinobi, I can keep to the shadows when necessary. The Sekisagumi are not to be travelled with. Rare is the week that I do not hear at least one tale of an Aijin being arrested under dubious pretext. Fortunately, a wealthy and well-connected ally can help resolve such matters with the, um, the minimum of fuss. 
I had a feeling we might find ourselves in a situation like this. So, I made sure to stock up on some uh, special supplies that I thought might prove useful. Alice has them in case you're wondering. And here I was thinking Gyodi was just being nice. I'll tell you now, if Haircock's right about all this, that fish is getting filleted. I filleted. To review, Lise, Alex and I will meet with Gyodi as planned. Alphino will keep watch from a distance, ready to provide support in the likely event that Gyodi attempts to betray us to the Imperials or whomever else. Should that happen, you and Lise will subdue him, and together we will make our escape. As our actions will surely draw the attention of Sekisegumi, we will evade them with Alphino's assistance and return here with our prisoner. Does that meet everyone with everyone's approval? Of course, these precautions will be for naught if Gyodi does not play us for fools. But we shall see to the bridge. Alright. We're taking bets now! Is it a trap? It's probably a trap. That's the name of the quest. Is he gonna be on the up and up? Vote now! Where are we going? Questy marker, I cannot find you. Oh, it's over that way. So it's somewhere... Ah, there it is. So we want to go to... The hostillery. Hmm. It's not like I've got nearly six million gil on me. Let's ignore that fact, though. Alright. Hmm. I have my suspicions. It's a trap, isn't it? We may as well stop kidding ourselves. Our would-be ally is nowhere to be seen. Make ready, Alex. Something smells... fishy. Judy calls. Commence battle for... It's probably a trap. If your level's above 63, you'll be synced. He's late. Endless and most sincere apologies to you and yours, yes, yes. This way, this way, quickly now. Didn't expect that voice to come out of that mouth. Enough. Where are you taking us? Where is the ship? <laughs> this ship, this ship. I'm so very sorry to inform you, yes, yes. Long before was it pledged to another. To me, to me. These ones are for Doma. I knew it couldn't be this simple. Nothing personal, yes, yes, just business. Then business is about to take a turn for the worse. Ah! 
Come on, let's find a way out of here. I can think of a way. Straight through those garlands. Come on, focus on him. Hmm, we're trying to not be obvious, right? How's this for not obvious? Oh, hello Alfino. What took you so long? Don't worry, they'll be dead in a second. Of all the bloody places. Wait, who said that? As expected, this Sekisei Gumi has caught, caught our scene. Since fighting them is out of the question, we'll have to wind our way back to the Ruby Bazaar, avoiding the patrols as we go. If they find you, use these smoke bombs to make your escape. Use the smoke bombs to evade the patrols. Be warned that attacking the Sekisei Sekisugumi will result in failure. Ooh, this sounds intriguing. Do, 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 do. Duty actions. Duty actions are special actions that are available only during the course of specific quests or battles. Duty actions are used by pressing L3 while holding down L2 and R2. Okay. Some duty actions can only be used a limited number of times. Deciding when, when or where, wait. Deciding when or when not, oh sorry, to use them can mean the difference between victory and a quick trap back to your home point. Quick trip, not trap, trip trap. Alright, I get how that works now. Can't go that way, fair enough. What? I I'm, I'm trying. Okay, fair enough. Do, 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 do. Oh, hello there, Lise. He's heavy on the looks. Hmm. Alright, we need to make our way back to the bazaar. Well, that seems like a good route. Oh, of course that way is blocked off. That was such a perfect route. Let's 
zoom straight past him. Ignore the giant glowing weapon. He still saw me. I just realized they're pomandas. I'm hidden. Mwah. Oh God. Oui. Come with me. I will guide you to your fence. Where's the fuck talking fish now? A tortoise? Oh, what have we got to lose? I mean, thanks. Thank the twelve you made it. I feared the coach and friend might not, not find you in time. Everything is going according to it should do something. You're going to be alright, trust me. Look, it's the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Well, one of them. Stay hidden and quiet. Understood? Understood. Clear the road, clear the road. You there, Korjin. We seek four foreigners. One, a brutish woman carrying an unconscious Namazu. Have you seen them? Four foreigners, you say? Ah, yes! Very rude they were, making no apology as they barged past. They went that way, I think. Many thanks, good sir. With me! They cannot have gone far. All is well. The Sekisei Gumi will not return this way for some time, I should think. You are of the East Aldenard Trading Company, yes? Come with me. I know a safer way. You are returned, and with guests, I see. Our meeting went about as well as expected. We've brought the Namazu who thought to betray us. When he wakes up, we'll see what he knows about Yugiri and Gazetsu. Well done, you. When I saw the Sekisei Gumi out in force, I did begin to worry, but I see my fears were misplaced. Actually, if it weren't for Soroban, we might not have gotten away. Twas my pleasure. Yet I must ask, Soroban, why would you deceive the Sekisei Gumi to help us, foreigners of whom you know naught? Why, out of the kindness of my heart, is what I would like to say, but my motives are not so pure. I do like his I voice actor. I chanced to witness your meeting with Hancock at the tavern and saw an opportunity. An opportunity?
Like many, I came to Kugane as a trader to make my fortune. Kojin of the Red may serve the Empire as mercenaries, but Kojin of the Blue walk a different path. Regretfully, most here would rather not meet our gaze, much less do business. So I seek the custom of those less predisposed to dismiss us outright, namely the East Aldenard Trading Company. Quid pro quo, is it? Well, there is no denying that we owe you a debt. What say you, Hancock? Will you consider doing business with our entrepreneurial friend here? Rest assured, Master Sodoban, that in matters of trade, the company does not discriminate. We would be honored to hear your proposal. I promise you will not regret this, good sir. Ah, yes. You sought passage across the Ruby Sea, did you not? I have a ship you can use. Fair enough. You do? Well then, far be it from us to refuse. You have our deepest thanks. And you mine. Yes, convenient indeed. Though we cogen are of the sea, we often come ashore to sell our wares and peruse the markets. It is my hope that an arrangement with the East Aldenard Trading Company will help us to be more quickly obtain the treasures that we seek. There's no denying denying that we are they that they were Imperials. They were wearing the same uniforms as the ones outside the consulate. All things considered, that went rather well. Thanks to Soroban, that is. You are doubtless wondering why our objectively green-hued friend here refers to himself as a cogent of the blue. The answer is quite fascinating, really. The cogent language has many similarities with ancient Hingan, you see, and in ancient Hingan, the word for green, ao, can mean green and or blue. Though I do though I do the word a disservice by even attempting to translate it, so steeped in meaning as it is, why they elected to keep on calling themselves the blue in modern times, well that's anyone's guess. I for one would have much preferred Kojin of the Ao. But one theory posits that they prefer the sound of the word blue when spoken. Another is that they are physically incapable of distinguishing between the two, which would have interesting implications in their everyday lives. Hmm. That is actually quite interesting. Thank you. I'm still annoyed he tried to deceive us, but at least we were prepared for it. Even so, Next time, we should probably try to avoid running around Kagani in the middle of the night with half the city guards snapping at our heels. Good advice? Whether or not we'll do that, that's to be seen. Alright, all the same. Let's see. Making the catfish sing. Fair enough. I wonder what we're going to get. Making the catfish sing. Lise would I uh, Lise would like to ask Yodo a few questions. <laughs> 